Why is this night different from all other nights? Come this Wednesday night, we will all be asking that question and answering with this night is different because we are experiencing a pandemic with many of us unable to be with the people whom we love. This night is different because we are doing everything virtually, with many of us being physically separated from the people with whom we usually share the Passover Seder. You'll recall that we begin the Seder with the words, Avadim Hayin, we were slaves unto Pharaoh in Egypt. But we recall that the Hebrew word Mitzrayim, or Egypt, literally comes from a word that means narrow or confined straits. And so it is that this year we find ourselves in the narrowness of social distancing as we all yearn for a time when we will have emerged from the Egypt that is the coronavirus. And I'd like to point out something that we'll be doing at the Seder that I think has great relevance for today, especially because of what we are experiencing. It happens near the beginning of the Seder, where we take a piece of matzah and we break it in half. One half we hide for the afikomen, which children will later retrieve, and the other half we keep as we raise it in the air and declare, this is the bread of affliction. This broken piece of matzah is intended to remind us not only of the brokenness that is slavery, but the brokenness that is hunger and poverty and homelessness. The brokenness that is people getting sick from this virus and our knowing that we too are threatened. But there's something important that happens with that piece of matzah and the one that we hid earlier in the Seder. We send our children to find the hidden piece so that it can be united with the half that we retained. In other words, the child brings back not only the piece of matzah, but a symbol of our hope and vision that our world can yet be made whole as we put the two pieces of matzah together. That broken piece of matzah, it calls out to us, don't despair. Healing can and will come to our world. And maybe we will be the better and the stronger people because of what we have endured. For sure, this will be a different kind of Passover. For me, it means trying to conduct the Seder virtually with my children and grandchildren. It'll be challenging, but I'll try, as many of you will, to make the Seder experience a meaningful one. Yes, our experience this year will be compromised, as we will not be in the physical presence of the people with whom we usually celebrate Passover. But the values and ideals for which Passover stands, the holiness of freedom, the sacredness of every human life, the need for each of us to perform acts of kindness, especially for those who are needy, those values we can surely affirm and embrace yet again this year, working for the day when all contemporary forms of enslavement will be vanished and when all people will be free to pursue their hopes and dreams. Yes, Passover is a Jewish holiday, but it's one with such universal meaning for it speaks of a time when all humanity will be living in peace 
and freedom, a time when the matzah will be whole for everyone, a time we, when we will have gone forth from whatever enslaves or restricts us in our quest for that wholeness. And so for all of us, may this be a memorable Passover when we break the chains of all that enslaves us, our society, and our world. Amen. Amen.